coffee? No. Excelsa, mostly this kind of coffee the youth make for caffeine. If you are, you don't know this kind of coffee, I'm sure you are not working in the chemistry factory. Yes. Yeah. If you work in the chemistry factory, you know this coffee, because this kind of coffee only in Europe they use. They use, they use this one not for drink. Oh. They use make for caffeine, because they are high caffeine containment. So this kind of coffee is originally from Kenya. They are similar like coffee, Hara coffee. You know Hara coffee? Yeah. You know Hara? It came from Ethiopia. You know Libya? Yeah. Yeah, Libya, that coffee came from Libya. Mm -hmm. By Netherlands discovered during colonized before. But this coffee is by French discovered in Ken uh, Kenya during the colonize, they are not the same. The coffees, you don't think one, two, three. Coffee around the world, there are 160 varieties, but they don't use it or they use only 20. The name for the coffee is 124 names. Why there are many names? Because coffee, local people, they are called different names. And then they give a name for introduction in the world, then they give a name for marketing. Like marketing coffees, they call Arabica, Robasta, Ixtilsar, Esliga, Lidiarica, Arasta, Arabasta, Akaama, Java, Sumatra, Costa Rica, Sinega, Katurona, Kona, Mocha, and Jamaica. That's all for marketing. Well done. But Laos, we had only four. But how the human, if we talk about the story of the coffees, is very long. So the human discovered the coffee is first from the farmer. The farmer in Africa, that is the countries they are discovered in Ethiopia. But the farmer had a lot of goats before every day goat running to the forest, ate the coffee bean and the coffee leaf. When it came back to the village at the night time, his goat running and playing doesn't sleep. Honor the goat, he wondering why my goat doesn't sleep on this time. He tried to know the follow goat in the forest. I think he saw the goat climb uh, to the coffee trees, ate the coffee fruit. He think if the goat ate that fruit, does not make poison. He tried to eat the coffee. When it came back to the village at the night time, it could doesn't sleep. And people in the village they said he is the magic man because he don't want to sleep at night time. But he said, I am not the magic, but I ate that fruit. Make me stop sleeping every time when I ate the fruit. So and then they call the first name the coffee is they call wake you up. The first name the coffee they call Alpha. Mm -hmm. Alpha, that is the coffee is make it famous in Africa until the coffee is make it famous to the east. And then it's called it coffee before Ottomans. Empire brought the coffee in Cairo during Persia. People in Egypt before they don't know they uh, to process the coffee is because there are no machine. Import the fruit directly to Egypt. People in Egypt eat directly coffee bean. When they eat too much, they make more caffeine at the body, make the body they are shaking, heart beating. That's how that is make poison fruit. This is fruit too strong for it to eat. They try to stop use coffee during 1511. So that is Egypt and South Arabic change the name of coffee from Alpha. They call Kawa. Kawa is mean kind of more strong. That coffee reads open again the coffees by colleague coffees Istanbul and Paris during 1524. They brought the coffee to Congo. From Congo, the king of Syria brought the coffee. And first countries, they are cultivated coffees in the world, Syria. Syria, they changed the name of coffee from Kawa, they call Kafa. You know, Kafa. Kafa, the same like when you come to Laos, we call like Palang, it means white people. Uh -huh. Because during the Syria took the coffee bean from Congo, Congo people they call Kafa. They think the name of coffee and they use the name of coffee they call Kafa. The same like why we call Falang in Southeast Asia like Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, because they saw the first white skin, long uh, blonde hair, long nose before it's French. So a lot of they call French. But now, if they want to say French people, we call Falangsi. 
Why we call Falangse? Because French speak Frangse. Frangse means Falangse, that is for French. The same like South America, they call Gringo. You know Gringo? Many, many You know why they call Gringo? Animals. They are four stories. But I don't know what is the real, but I think the real one is Irish. The first story is because of people from South America, they grow a lot of vegetables, vegetables green. They put on the boat, full of both vegetables is green, they said green go, go to South America, go to America. That is the first story. And second story is because of the Irish guy, he went in Mexico. Mexican guy cannot speak English very well because before Amer uh, Mexican, they don't want to learn English. So he speaks a little. So the Irish guy, he is a blonde, blonde hair, uh, green eyes. He said, when the rain, it comes green, is growing. But the guy saw his eyes green, blonde hair, green eyes, named Green Go. So those are the second stories. But the third story is because of American military, they came to South America because of uniform of military is green. They said, Green, go away. But the four stories is because of American buy a lot of land business in South America because dollars is green. They said green dollars go back to America. But I don't know what is the real, but I think the real one is the Irish. The same like in the Syria they call kafa. It's meaning kind of, they call now is the coffee, the coffee bean, the name of coffee is what they call the name of people, white people. Call Kafa because during Belgium make colony in Congo, Congo people they call Kafa, which means white people. So that coffee is brought by the Yemen. The first countries roasted coffee is in Yemen because the Yemen they don't burn on the fire because they start to kill the bacteria and disease. Like they use roasted, it's not good for the king to drink. Stick with the ass. So like that they use to roast the coffee, and then the smell put in the water to give to the king drink. That is the first coffee, roasted coffee, is in Yemen. And then Netherlands, they came in Yemen. Netherlands brought the coffee from Yemen. They tried to grow the coffee in Netherlands. Doesn't work. They brought the coffee, so it's that one, Robusta. But the first name, Robusta, they don't call Robusta. They use the name of the guy's name. They call Linden Jew. Because Mr. Linden brought the bean from Yemen to Netherlands. They don't know how to keep a name. They use the name of the guy's name. And then the guy brought the coffee grow in the colonies in South America, in Haiti. In Haiti? When they grow the coffee in Haiti, the coffee coming become a fruit. The introduct coffee in South America, they call canifora. And why did you become robusta? Robusta, they use the name of Roman language and Latin. Robust is means strong, that means more powers. When you drink, you are strong, more powers. So let that they give a name, become robusta. And when they brought that coffee, they call in Chodak in the world, they call the Canifora. From Canifora, they, get, they change the name, become a marketing name. Netherlands brought the coffee from the Haiti. The first used coffee in Europe is Netherlands and German. German and Netherlands changed the name coffee in Europe. From Kappa become coffee. You know why they changed. You're from Netherlands. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, from uh, the same line, German, the K, or F F I E, but in German, K A F F E E. Kafa is from K A F F A R. Mm. You know why they should become a coffee? No. Because there's two meaning. One is in German and the Netherlands is a different meaning. Netherlands is the meaning lies from Kafar is the white people. They are white people, white people grow the beans in the colonies for the white people use. So let it change become a coffee. Kafar. But in German the translators white people use make caffeine in the coffee. So let it change become a coffee from a kappa. And then Netherlands brought the coffee grow in India, Indonesia. Netherlands, they discovered coffee from Indonesia, gave the fruit to the French.
friend that tried to grow the coffee in Europe doesn't work, friend brought the coffee grower in Jamaica. And then the friend discovered new coffees in Rhenian Island. You know Rhenian? Yeah. You know Rhenian Island? Close to the Madagascar Indian Ocean. Oh. The, before they called Bourbon, but now they changed the name because they belong to French. They don't use the name from the family of the king. So French brought from Rhenian, they grow the coffee, grow in Costa Rica. They brought in French Guiana, they brought Guatemala, they brought in Kenya. And the French, they uh, brought the coffee from the Rhenian Island to Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. So like that, we don't have the name of coffees, we use French name, we call cafe. Cafe, they use the name of corporation in French. One day, the meeting about colonization in Austria in Vienna, French gave seedling coffees to the Portuguese and Spain. Netherlands, they gave the seedling to the brightest, brightest grow coffee in Africa, Portuguese grow coffee in Brazil. From Brazil, Portuguese brought grow coffee in Philippines, Spain grow coffee in Mexico. From Mexico, Spain brought coffee in South America. The last colonies Italy make in Ethiopia in 1914. That is the first make coffee machine in, it, uh, in Ethiopia. And why is now English change the name become by C? Before English by K, like Netherlands word, they use K O F F I E. But now English by C, you know why? Tell us. Oh, oh you. You speak English. Me? I have no idea. <laughs> I can tell you. So why the chain become by sea? Because coffee is just because of Mr. Joe. You know Mr. Joe? We pick up. If Arabica or Tipica, we pick up a red bean like this. We dry it in the sun. Oh, would you like to charge your phone? Uh, yes, uh, you can put on the, you oh, open yeah, okay. the room, that is you put on the okay. chart in the room, this, yeah. So this one is we pick up the red bean like this. If uh, Robusta and Excelsa, we dry it in the sun first, because it's different between Arabica and Tipica. When you dry from the sun, so the coffee is become uh, black. Take a little bit of wood ring. Take a little bit of wood ring. This one. So when you dry from the sun, it's become like this. And then you pick up coffee bean like this. You shaking. If you saw the co if you hear the coffee bean is moving, it's been already dry. And then you put in a machine. The machine remove the first and the second skin. The coffee is become like this. Mm. When it's become like this, and then you roasting the coffee is the color is like this. But if arabica, we pick up a coffee bean, the red bean like this, and tipica, we put in the waters first because we have no machine remove the skin now. Mm. We put in the water to make fermentation, and then you grind it to remove the first skin. After you remove the first skin, and this one with the second skin, and you dry it in the sun. After you dry one day, and then you take coffee bean, put again in the water one minute. Mm. Why we put in the water one minute if the bean is sing like this is good qualities. If the bean floating has been bad qualities, so mm. we take the sing one and then we dry. After you dry, and then before you roasting, you remove second skin. And this one with the third skin. The third skin, when you roasting, the coffee come out from the bean. The coffee bean, when you roasting, the third skin come out. So it's make coffee bean, is expand the bean and change the colors. First is like this, green, and then when you roasting, it's white. After white, then white, green, and then it's become a brown colors like this. When it's brown colors, the coffee is already the flavor. So the coffee is more you roast longer, the coffee is more strong flavor, but less caffeine. Like coffee is like when you roasting coffee, 
You make us number eight or number O, oh, number eight, number O, oh, you're turning around. When you're moving around it, the coffee bean, the third bean come out from the bean, the coffee bean add when the bean become bigger. When you roast the coffee, it's like if you roast, first roast is like they call American styles. And then after American style, German style, German styles is like this, American styles is like this. And then the Spain style like this, but I have no French style. French style is dark colors. After the French style, then Italian style. Italian is really black. The more you roast the coffee, it's just the more strong. So the coffee, when you if you drink coffee, I would like recommend on you you take a green bean coffee like this. You roasting by yourself. Why I would like to recommend like that because if you buy from a market, it's good, rich aroma, less bitters, but the roasted is not organic roast. They use with gas and benson. Mm -hmm. Because benson burn the coffee bean to break coffee or it's out of gas that is to break, to blow to make rich aroma. So like that they use gas and benson. But it, like the same, like they make for decaf. Without caffeine, how do you make a decaf? If you don't use the chemistries, what they use chemistries? They use is the chlorine. Mm. You know chlorine? Yeah. Mm. Like they call the molecule, the caffeine, the C, like the C H H ten N four O two. That is the molecule, the caffeine. The coffee is the same trees like this. You don't think the same flavor is not the same. Why not the same like this kind of coffee is more nutrient and this coffee is less nutrient like this. This one less nutrient just make one bean like this. It cannot produce two like you can say like Mayberry and Peaberry. Or you can say male or female coffee. Like the male coffee is like this is just make one bean. The one bean like this, this one is make less flavor because there isn't less flavor because they have become a flower late, just make a rolling like this and this bean is make female if they are two part of bean like this like two bean, it's pea berry the pea berry, this one is make fl more flavor Okay. so the same like the coffee is the same bean like this you think the same flavor or not the same? In one bean of this, you think same flavor or not the same? For example, like this. This one, one, this one, one. Same or different? Same. And you? And you? I guess different. And you? You take it from one, or? Yeah. The one. must must be same. It must be same? I think so. And you? It's uh, in one bean of coffee like this, the inside there are two beans, they are same or different? Uh, same. Same? Different? And same. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you? Same or different? I would say the same. This one is not the same, different. You know why different? The reason because one bean like coffee bean is two like this. But one bean is take more nutrient, one bean is less. Oh. One bean take more nutrient a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Bigger the lines if the coffee is like this, you can feel touch each other. If you can touch on here, mm -hmm. touch it here, you may know they are different. Yeah, it's not the same. The same like if you would like to know coffees, you can look at the bean like this. Why would like you look like this? You understand this part? You understand this kind of coffees? Uh -huh. So this kind of coffee, why I would like to show you this one? You can see the lines. This one line. If you saw the lines, line this one straight lines. Yeah. It's more bitter, less aroma. Mm. If you saw the lines, rich aroma, the lines like us. Mm. Mm. 
is not the same. When the, the lines like S, there is more aroma and less bitter. If you saw the lines, one part is big, one part small, that kind of coffee acid and a bit spicy because one bean is there less nutrient. The same like in one bean like this, one part is big, more nutrient, one bean less mm. nutrient. Less nutrient is make one part big lines, one part is make small lines. It's not the same like this. Do you still use bark? Or do you like separate them and make? We always use both because when you come to the coffee shop, you don't say, "Oh, can I have light central, S central, or straight central, or male or female?" You don't ask. It. You always order coffees. We make it. If you separate, you will lose a lot of business. Mm. But if you you use, you collect like all the same central, you will know they are different tastes when you drink. Yeah. But if you don't separate when you make, you always feel. Confident. But I mean, at the end, yeah, fifty percent from the one, fifty percent from the other. Then in the at the end, you make a coffee, yeah, a bottle or uh, no, a cup of coffee. It's always about then the same. in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Then There's you don't need to separate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the reason they don't separate. Yeah. Them. And the reason why, like, I would like tell you, like, always they show you about. As central lights because they are that is they use the best one, mm -hmm. like they are more aroma, less bitter. So a lot of they use always as central to show you on the back. You have some more question? How long it takes? How long it takes? Thirty minutes. Okay.